Okay, this is a Bacchusil pool, and for reasons I won't get into, you know, I went away for a month and didn't make a good chemical plan. You were looking at a completely algae green pool. Look, look at the light. <clears throat> I mean, you can barely even see the light. You can't see the bottom. It's terrible. So I'm gonna show you the steps. I don't know if this will succeed, but I will show you the steps that I'm gonna go through to get this pool back to clear. So let's come over to the filter. So by the way, I mean, look, Bacchusil gets a bad rap on the forums for like, oh, if your pool turns green, you know, yada, yada. Well, this is really my fault. You know, if you go away for a month in the beginning of the summer and your neighbors don't put the chemical in like you thought and the, the pump had stopped because the water level had gone down, you know, this could happen to any pool. But uh, so a lot of people say you can't get a Bacchusil pool back to clear when this happens. So. Let me show you what we're dealing with. So, first thing I did was uh, I put this on backwash and I poured an entire bottle of filter cleaner into the skimmer. Just plug, plug, plug. And then I quickly switched my pump back off. And what that's going to do is right now, this chemical is sitting inside my sand filter. So, while I'm waiting for these next steps, uh, and these next few days it's just soaking up all the hair and grease and that's that's what this is doing and cleaning now next thing i did was i put it on recirculate recirculate just allows the water to go from here through here bypass the entire sand and back in the pool it's just a way to get uh just a way to get you know the water moving and so what i did next what i'm about to do is i'm going to take some back to blue step number two now step number one is if you have a chlorine pool, but I just, I'm just using a flocculant. This is called flocking your pool. And so what you do is you take that, I'm gonna pause, Come on. This is going in the skimmer. Ooh, weird looking. Look, look at that, it's kind of an orangey color. It's not what I was expecting. Anyway, I'm gonna dump an entire two pounds into my skimmer. Ooh, this is gonna be cool. Okay. And look, it's coming out. It's coming out the other end. Oh it looks like it's getting dirtier. But what this is gonna do, it grabs on to everything and drops it to the bottom of the pool. So all I'm gonna do is run this pump for I don't know, an hour or two, come back. What I want is for this full flocculent to be dispersed everywhere and then I'm gonna turn my pump off. I want no movement at all. So everything can start to drop to the bottom with the flocculant. That's what flocculant does, okay? So, great, well, let's let this, oh God, it looks so bad now. This looks terrible. But anyway, it's, it's, uh, it's gonna get better. All right, signing off. Overnight, I don't know if you can tell with all this reflection, okay, but, uh, you see how all that stuff's dropped to the bottom? Looks like a half inch, three quarter inch of just gunk. And there's a little bit of stuff on the surface water, but that's pretty fast for dropping the stuff out. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna vacuum all this stuff out to waste. Really important, you don't do backwash uh, like you'd normally do if you're running your vacuum. You do it to waste, so let me show you that wondered what all these it's like six positions I'm like I'm never gonna use half of these but that's waste right there now I hear the water starting to run out so I think I got a siphon action going on so let me uh, I'm just gonna close it close it for a second get my whole vacuum set up then put it on waste flip it on it's gonna suck a tremendous amount of water out but all that water is going to bypass everything. It's going to go uh, straight uh, from the skimmer vacuum down and just uh, up this tube, up this tube and straight out. It's going to bypass everything if you get a waste. And that's how you're going to get, that's where I made my first mistake. I saw some grain on the ground and I vacuumed it like to backwash which put all kinds of stuff back in my pool and stirred it up. So, all right, so we're 
we're getting closer to getting this thing clear again i don't know if you can see that clear path it's making but i'm i'm vacuuming very gently and slowly surely you can see that in the video even with that reflection see that oh man oh yeah it's just getting it Ooh. Yeah, i'm going real slow i don't want my vacuum hose to disturb anything and then man that's gonna suck that water level down all right i better move vacuum fast it up and you know when you vacuum up you can't help but to stir a little bit up so i know i should let it sit again because by the time i made it around to that side of the pool like this side of the pool was like stuck to the bottom and it vacuumed up like peeling up a carpet and by the time i got over there some water had moved things around it started to lift and get a little fuzzy and wow i don't know if you saw but like it was above it was above the middle screw that's got to be like four inches of water yeah you see that you can see the scuzz line however much that is that's how much water i used in like 10 minutes so i had to go fast because going to waste it just man it just goes out all right well it's not there yet but yeah so this was day you know after night one and vacuuming day one all right let's settle down just a little bit after vacuuming there's some some more green i gotta vacuum up but my goodness <clears throat> these stairs i'm just gonna disassemble them and take them out of the whole pool i know underneath those stairs just a bunch of gunk probably harboring i'm gonna take that out leech off the uh, algae or something <clears throat> So I got a lot of work to do still, but this is how it's looking. This is still like day two in progress. It's getting there. Okay, so this is after a night of filtering, after I uh, filtered the waste, and then now that I, I went ahead and backwashed, a little backwash cycle. Uh, backwash looked pretty clear. I had that, that cleaner in it. I'm sure it got rid of some oils and hairs. Um, yesterday I had added, uh, an entire gallon of the oxidizer, which is step two. That brought my oxidation shock level up really high to like 138, which is way more than you need. Um, this step number one was measured at 44 parts per whatever, and uh, the goal is 50. Uh, today it's down to 31. So I'm gonna add one of these half gallon bottles. I just need to add a quarter of it. So I guess an eighth of a gallon. And uh, I think some of that's just because I used about a foot of water and diluted it and then had to keep out in water. And then maybe the flock pulled some of my chemicals out. But in general, most of my chemicals stayed. And now I'm also just touching up some of the pH again, getting that perfect in the alkalinity so that everything's humming. Anyway, I'm gonna get all my stuff back up to the correct level and see if we can, and then I'm gonna scrub. I'm gonna scrub on that and just try to get everything back to normal. I'm cleaning out my, my pole basket and the leaves are slimy. So what happens with the uh, shock, the hydrogen peroxide, it, it does get used up by any leaves and organic matter you have in there. So definitely try to rake those out. But uh, I was just noticing I have so much hydrogen peroxide in there that it's actually turning the leaves slimy and dissolving them. It's really weird. That's how you know you've got a lot. <laughs> you got a lot. I'm just in there. adjusting some of my pool chemistry. Uh, I put so much acid in. I think I took my alkalinity down a little bit. So I'm gonna add this while it's running. I don't really know if I should put this in the skimmer or not, but yeah, probably will. So it disperses a good a pint of this. Here it goes. Yeah. 
is good enough. I'm gonna conserve some water. Rinse after your backwash for just a little bit. That helps it settle. And back to filtering again. And don't forget to uh, get rid of the, the leaves and things because uh, you don't want that sucking up your hydrogen peroxide uh, ability. This is a different type of flocculant, like the one I used before. You're supposed to put it in your pool. But a little trick, I don't know if this is correct, but I put about uh, a cap full, which is about an ounce, into my uh, basket for my sand filter, and then it can start filtering a lot finer particles. Uh, this can gum up your sand filter, so you gotta come out and pay attention to it. But in general, just a little bit of this. You're really supposed to use a uh, filter aid a filter aid is like a more gentle way to increase this, but I don't remember where I learned this trick, but I guarantee you I had some white mold going on in my pool one time. I put the, this into my basket and man, it was the only thing that would take it out. So I think the same thing with algae. I think this is gonna grab onto stuff. So let's try it. Day three, but I have scrubbed the heck out of the sides of the pool and the floor and oh my God, I cleaned those stairs like I haven't really ever cleaned them, like ever, like underneath like that in a while. Anyway, so that has made my pool super dirty. Um, so I might flock again, but maybe I'll give it a night and see what the filter can do, because all this stuff's floating around. Yeah, you know, see if it filters it out. If it's gonna take forever doing the filter, I think one more flock. And man, I mean, I scrub this stuff like it just start peeling off the sides. It's just as much algae as I had before, almost. We'll see. But this is the sandbag that came out from underneath my stairs. God, I mean, this whole bag's full of green algae. I might just go get a fresh one of these instead of putting this back in my pool. Like, I don't really know how to clean that out. So I might just start over on that. That's, that looks hard to clean. Day four, after a full night of filtering, it looks great, slightly cloudy but really close to being there. One more backwash. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay. With one more night of just normal filtering, wow. That is crystal clear. I am very happy again. You know, we're under a tree here. So, of course, there's already more, some more leaves to vacuum up, but mm, man, clean those steps off real good. Wow, okay. Yep, it's back again. Of course, I'll probably backwash wash one more time, you know, but I feel like I did it. I feel like I went from green to crystal clear again and it's a Bacquasil pool I'll add up the chemicals in just a little bit but I say that looks pretty good